Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 7 of season 3 of Yuki Yuna as a hero, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm definitely going to have to get a new battery. I'm doing it after. Yeah, yeah. You just became too much for her. That's not true, though. You've always been loved as well, even after, you know, you left your hell and moved on from that. I feel like this is going to be maybe the last episode in this part and then we're going to flash back to the current time with Yuna and everyone else and them figuring out like, okay, since we now know what the heck happened in the past, this is what we need to do to solve it. Maybe. You will never be forgotten. Don't like the title of that episode. But you also have guns. So what do you do? Finish gun first or that? I know you don't have to do this.
Jesus Christ. Yeah, but what about that? Of course. Yeah, I know. Even though you almost really tried to kill her, she's being nice and she's going to save you. Because she still cares for you. I think it was just you. Not only you, her parents, well, really more of her dad, the people who bullied her. because you're scared. Damn, it took a chunk of her fucking arm. Please don't die. I didn't want her to die though. I mean, yeah, because she had a sad life and you truly felt bad for her. And then dealing with everything else that she was dealing with, but it doesn't mean she's got to die.
guessing because of the fact that she hasn't told us. Mm. Well, damn. Because of the fact is that, you know, she felt that bad and such. Of course. And so those two never will know. Because that was her home. Her home away from home. This was her hell that she had to endure for such a long time. What's wrong? Do you know? It's just sad to see this and to just know that there's only three that are alive. It just sucks. Honestly, I feel like maybe if those two who are behind Chikage or Gunjun, if they hadn't have died, I don't think Gun would have gone like into that depression that she went into. But I think even if those two did not die, I think still the same thing possibly would have happened. Gun would have got very depressed, very stressed. And she just would have been in her head the whole entire time. But it's the thought that counts. <laughs> mm. Which means even though she hated you, she still cared for you.
Me too. In a way, all six of you were together. Mm -hmm. I'm worried about her though. I'm worried about all three of them. It's hard to deal with everything by yourself. It wasn't only you. There's so many other people who had blame in it. So just don't blame everything on yourself. Don't kill her, I swear to God. Oh, fine. This is that one time that all three of them really desperately need each other. Because they're the only ones that are left. Exactly. You're still human at the end of the day. It's like almost in the way the people of the world do place them at a higher up. Very much almost godlike. Because of the fact is, yes, for these six girls, technically the two that are left and Hina on the side, there's a lot of things that they have to deal with. And so, of course, freaking like mental illness, they're going to deal with a lot of stress.
see, something also tells me. Okay, so since we now have two heroes left, this story for them isn't going to end until all five are dead. So Yuna might be next, and then Wakaba's the last one. And Hinata is the only one who's going to be surviving from this team of six when it is actually just five. But I feel like still, if the two girls from the um, who died first, if they didn't die and Gun had gotten, you know, all of her depression and everything, not only from her dad and being upset with, you know, the trolls of the internet and such and a whole bunch of other things then i think maybe yes it still would have had the same outcome i think gun still would have died because of the fact that she's dealing with a lot of things and everything and because of the fact is she wasn't talking to not only wakaba but yuna hinata the other two girls it, since she wasn't talking to any of them about it she kept it bottled in and so we all knew that there was going to be a point that it was going to explode on her and she was not going to last this the rest of this show I mean, she was a precious girl. All these damn girls are so fucking precious. And I hate the fact that we're either every single week or every other week we're seeing somebody die. And it sucks. And I'm like, I'm looking at it, my girls right here. And I'm like, are y'all going to die by the end of this? I don't want that. I, I just, oh, God. I, I, uh, I hate this so bad. I really do. Cause there was a moment where I was kind of thinking that they were going to possibly add like two or three more girls to Wakma's group and such. And that we were going to have to deal with the new face of girls and such. And the fact is that, you know, dynamics of people, because you never know how everybody's going to act with like new people in a group and it's like that. But now that it is just these two left, like I said, it, 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 this story for them and their, until we get back to, you know, our lovely Yuki Yuna um, and her group, it, it's not going to end until everybody is officially dead from this group because I think it makes the only, like, it, it's the most logical sense by the end of it because, of course, two two died, then one just recently died, and now there's two left. Okay, all of y'all are dying by the end of this, like, straight up. But who knows? I'm guessing, like, this is episode 7, so I'm guessing maybe the next two episodes will probably reach the conclusion of this group, and then that's when we'll go back to present day and ish and everything. And that's when the girls will take everything that they've learned from this, you know, diary, which diary, well, yeah, it's a book, a diary book, but really journal, um from this story and to try to stop what they're currently going against now. I don't know how in the world they're going to do it. It's Once again, this show is so fucking stressful, but I love it so much. I mean, just, oh, God. I, I, blah, 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 blah. I can't. I really, truly can't with this series, but I love it so freaking much. It's just so good, and I... I uh, I just, I need this show. We are nowhere near the ending of this show. I just need this show to end on a happy note. That's all. I mean, how if we end with every, all the girls who have died up until now, and let's say Yuki Yuna and her group dies, which I, I, I mean, I don't think that's going to happen, but let's just say what if real quick. So let's say they die, and everyone who has been a hero from the beginning of time up to Yuki Yuna and maybe even onwards after her and such, the next generation after. They're all dead and they all meet each other like they're in this heaven where they're happy and they're able to see each other again, especially because <laughs> see, just Togo and Jin together. Like, I can't. That, that still hurt me so much, but I was crying so damn much. Just seeing Jin again, to see some of these girls again, even though they all perished very horribly, would just, it, it would make me so happy because you still feel bad for these girls. These girls are sacrificing them, their lives for people and, and such. And so you just, it, it's a lot. It's a lot for, you know, a teenage girl to deal with. And, it, and shit, I couldn't if I was, um, God, it, mm-mm. 
I just, I could not. I could not. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 7 of season 3 of Yuki Yuna as a Hero. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 8. Bye, guys.